Good afternoon here from sunny Fort Wayne, Indiana. Today we are going to repair a problem with a full power down feed on a Bridgeport mill. This particular one is not just weak, it's non-existent. Let me demonstrate for you. Right now you see it should be turning. I engage it. Nothing at all. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So we're going to turn it off. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the clutch cover off. Now you will notice on, you know, obviously, you know, on this cover, you have the set screw on the front, which is for adjusting the depth of the kick out right here. What we're going to do is go 180 degrees to this pocket right here. We're going to take a punch, a spring-loaded punch, and just punch right in the middle of it. At this point, we're going to go over, we're going to drill and tap this for a number seven for a quarter 20 hole. So let's go over to the drill press. Okay, I already have the number seven drill in here. So. side. Let's run over and get our quarter 20 tap and tap it real quick. I prefer the spiral type taps. This is aluminum so it's This is actually a pretty easy trick. Um, it saves from having to buy a new clutch or clutch arm um, sometimes. I'm not going to tell you this works 100% of the time. But I learned this several years ago and it's come in handy many times. Okay. Next step, take the clutch out. And you see the little pin that goes through here. We're going to knock that pin out. Take your device. Punch. Apologize for that. Grab the wrong punch. I like to keep track of this pin just on the off chance for some reason I want to go back and re return it to that. So. But okay, now you notice same clutch, no pin in here. The reason that for that is it's actually going to set in this area where it goes, but it has to be able to float in and out and be very adjustable. So, okay, our next step is the quarter 20 set screw. We're going to put that in our newly threaded hole. We are going to reinstall our clutch assembly.
course I get a stubborn one here. There we go. Now when you're testing this, you're going to make sure your quill is down a little ways. One thing you can do to test it is engage it. See how that's there? Alright, so let's turn it on again. Be it about halfway down. The reason you do that is if you had that your set screw in too far and you started it and you're going the wrong direction, you would destroy gears in here. And here we go. Right there, doesn't kick out. See what happens when we get to the bottom. Kicks out. Okay. So it was that simple. What you do at that point is you're gonna put a set screw in here. And you want to sit or be a, a quarter twenty nut there because you just basically want to lock it in position. Obviously, just get your wrench, lock it down. One more test. And that is it. Voila! You now have it up fully operational clutch working for you and it didn't cost you anything but a set screw in it.